Imposing over the countless pastures, fields and towns of northeast of Scotland, the rugged formation of Benihi casts a long and broad shadow. Benihi is a bundle of history that speaks to anyone who's willing to listen. The perfect example is the Maidenstone and is adorned with what is known as Pictish carvings. But, who were the Picts? The Picts were the people who inhabited North East Scotland from the Iron Age to the Late Dark Ages, which would be from 1000 BC to 800 AD. They shared much of their culture and linguistics with other Celtic people, such as those who lived in Wales. The Picts were some of the last remaining Celts in the world and they never had a written language. So what they left behind is all that remains of this proud culture. Here on the summit, there's evidence that will suggest there was a Bronze Age fort here, or a religious site. This must have commanded quite the area to think of how much manpower it must have taken to get anything up here. Down there, the landscape is peppered with standing stones that would have been related and shared a strong connection to this place at one time. Benahi was a home for people for well over 7,000 years, and the remains of one of the most extensive pictures carved remains in the country have been found here. And it has been difficult to precisely date when people first inhabited this area, as there are remains from the Mesolithic era roughly around 7000 BC, right up until the Iron Age, which was around 100 AD. I know it doesn't look like much, but to imagine at a time, this place would have been suitable for nothing less than a prince or even a king. Including this one, there have only been four sites found in Aberdeenshire. This is proof to what sort of status symbol it must have been. Some have used the ruins here as foundations for their crafts instead of building their homes from scratch, some of which have survived till this day. By the beginning of the 19th century, farmers settled here to establish on making a living off the land, and it was tax free. Working hard to turn the heathland into arable farmland, they raised livestock here and prospered. In 1850, there were around about 60 people living in homes like these, north of Blacky Burn. At that time, Benahee was a community where anybody living on its slopes had the right to raise sheep and cattle, even take peat, wood, stone and heather. There was someone who lived here until 1939, and his name was George Essen who moved to America when he was just a young lad, but decided to return to his home on the slopes of Benahi to become a mason and a dry stone diker. When he died, he was buried at the chapel of Kiri. On his headstone, it is written, George Essen descended from the first and himself the last of the colonists of Benahi. <laughs> 